welcome back to another edition of Easy Theory. So today we're going to be looking at a slightly different problem than usual in that we're going to look at this question which is a little less formal and is more approachable for people who are not as interested in theory, hence Easy Theory. So today we're going to be looking at showing that there's an unsolvable problem. And in fact, you, with this method, you can even show that the vast majority of problems are unsolvable. So what does this mean? So unsolvable, you can think of as there is no program or algorithm to solve it. So it's not just that like it's really, really difficult for humans to solve. It's just that there's literally no way to solve this problem. So what we would need to do is to show that there is an unsolvable problem. So one thing that we will take for granted is let's consider these two sets. So this bold script n thing is the set of all natural numbers. So all the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, all the, the infinitely many. And this set is called countable. Another term that you would associate with this is listable. And why would listable be useful here? Well, I can write down these numbers in a list and I can guarantee every number's on the list. So I can write them as zero, one, two, three, four, in that order and every number will appear on this list somewhere in this set n. And then the other set, which is R, is the set of all real numbers. So it includes n, it includes all the rational numbers as well as all the irrational numbers. And what you can show is that this set is uncountable in that it's unlistable. There's no way to write um, the real numbers into a list so that you will have every number on the list. And we can actually show this really quickly. So let's just say I did have such a list. So maybe like 3.1415926, and then maybe 2.781828, just some random numbers, obviously. 0 0.50607, blah, 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 et cetera. And I, let's just suppose that this is a list that has every real number on it. Well, if I look at these digits right here, going along the diagonal, going like this, and what I do is I create a number that is any digit other than this one in each position, so maybe like four, because the four is different than the three. Let's just say maybe two, because the two is different than the seven then maybe, uh, let's just say three for this position. And what, I, what I'm doing here is I'm going along the diagonal and looking at that corresponding position of that number in the list and picking a different one. Well, this is clearly gonna be a real number, but it's different than every other number on the list. So that's a, a contradiction that the list that I had was complete. So. What you can show is that uh, the natural numbers are not the same as the real numbers because the natural numbers are listable, we can write them in a list, and the real numbers are not listable, they're uncountable. So why does this have any relevance whatsoever? So let's just think of a program right here. So here's my program and it's written in some language, maybe Python, something, something like this, it has some instructions, whatever, we don't really care. Well, how it's represented on a computer is in binary. So for each of the numbers, we're going to associate to it a number. So like D is gonna represent maybe uh, four in, in just some random uh, uh, encoding scheme. It doesn't necessarily have to be ASCII, but 
um, just some encoding scheme. Maybe like A is 1, B is 2, C is 3, etc. And then what I can do is I can associate to each character a number. Well then, if I just look at the entire program, it's one gigantic number. So this program, we can associate to it a, a one integer. And it's not possible for each for an integer to encode two different programs because of how the encoding works. If they were two different programs, then they must differ at some position, but then that means that they encode different numbers. So therefore, each integer course, uh, every program corresponds to an integer and not necessarily vice versa. But so therefore, the number of programs is less than or equal to the size of, of n, the natural numbers. And we know that this one is listable. So that implies that this one is listable too. So the, the programs themselves are listable or countable. Okay, well, we can think about what a program actually does. So what does a program actually do? So here's our program again. And what it does, it gets inputs and outputs. Well, the input, we can associate to that a particular string, for example. So, so the input is some string, and the output is also some string, potentially. Well, since they can be anything, that means that the, each of the strings corresponds to an integer, and as well as the outputs correspond to an integer. So what we're really asking is the number of functions taking strings to strings which is equivalent to saying the number of functions taking um, the natural numbers to the natural numbers. And what you can show is that this thing is equivalent to the real numbers. So this is the set of all possible weight uh, things that a program could potentially compute, but the number of those programs is only countable. So therefore, the number of functions is uncountable, but the number of programs to actually solve problems is countable. And crucially, each program can solve only one problem. So each program solves exactly one problem. So that means that the number of problems that are solvable by our program or our set of programs is countable because each program only solves one. Maybe two of them happen to solve the same one, but we don't really care about that. Each program only solves one of them. So that means the number of problems that are solvable is countable. But the total number of possible problems is equivalent to the real numbers and hence is uncountable. So there must be some un, uh, unsolvable problem according to this because the number of possible problems is uncountable but the number of solvable problems is only countable. So I hope that was interesting. Let me know if there's a different way that you were able to solve this. As always, please like and subscribe to the channel. We have a bunch of links in the, in the description if you want to support the channel more. And as always, I'll see you next time.